Good morning, good morning, good morning. We are about to leave the house and my wife just got me all wet. You just got me all wet. We have arrived at Cambridge. Angel is going to get a, his eye check. He's due for an eye exam. It's cold? It's not cold, right? It's good? Uh -huh. Let's grab the elevator. We live in the mall now because we have to make, we failed to make an appointment before bringing Angel to get his eyes checked. And now we're gonna eat. We're coming back next Saturday for the eye check or eye exam. He needs it. But it was good to get out of the house. I guess it was a, a little bit of a distraction. Because our mission to Cambridge wasn't successful, that doesn't mean we can't have fun. We're gonna, buy, we're gonna stop and eat in a, a really nice place in Newmarket called Wildwoods. Italian food. They got this uh, caramelized onion entry entrance. They're amazing. Angel. Let's have fun. Let's enjoy the food and go home. Well, actually, we gotta get the passport uh, pictures done. We love this place. I like it. I like the pasta. That's what I'm gonna eat. I think the kids are gonna have pizza. Today was a good distraction to get out of the house, but distractions not always are good for you. When I published my book in 2006, one of the exercises, one of the first exercises I told people to do is the uh, any time inventory, which in a sense you can simplify by um, using a paper pencil pen and marking down every time you get distracted for example if you catch yourself uh, if you're uh, watching TV instead of doing what you're supposed to be doing or what you want to be doing you mark it down one time if you uh, start going to Facebook or Twitter and just browsing around instead of, uh, uh, of doing what you're supposed to be doing then you mark it down the idea is to bring conscience or be aware of what you, the distraction the, the time vampires because it goes along the ways of um, people people calling you interruptions and, and you can take it a step further but the idea of this simple exercise which you can start doing today and finish tomorrow is to start being aware of what are you doing uh, or the distraction so with that said once you're aware then you can start eliminating those distractions they came to take our order but like I was saying the idea of this exercise is to be aware of the time vampires your distractions so you can block them and you can eliminate them and I'm going to start today by eliminating Hulu from my Apple TV. It's been a distraction lately. I already eliminated uh, last year Netflix. And now I'm gonna eliminate Hulu. And Diego is complaining. Diego is like, Ugh. but it's something that is good for us. If we don't have it, we don't watch it. 
and I'm going to eliminate a few extra things because I identify that those are see the distractions are sneaky distractions are like um, habits that you make or you have that you don't even you're not even aware you, you, they're you know you get distracted and it's just part of who we are and we just need to eliminate it and if you want to get more done you follow this is the third tip or the third video on this series of productivity the first one is do the most important task of the day first the first thing the second one that i published yesterday is about uh, getting up a little bit early and so if you don't have time during the day just get do the first thing the task the most important task in the uh, in the morning first thing 15 minutes early 30 minutes early 45 even an hour uh, watch yesterday's video and you're gonna make it happen uh, today is about eliminating distractions because we all have them so with that said my friends remember to always create manage grow create the life that you want to live don't live the life that is handed to you manage your time wisely and grow every single day